All right, guys, looking to build big, thick, strong biceps and triceps. Stick around, we got a follow along dumbbell workout with you for exercise only. Let's go. What's going on guys? Coach Frank here from the Critical Bench Compound and in today's video I'm going to walk you through a follow along dumbbell workout including just four exercises that you can do at home, at the gym, anytime you're looking for a quick 10 minute workout to blow those biceps and triceps up. Now before we get into today's workout guys, I want to remind you that we do have an incredible program that's going to take these exercises and go much, much deeper. It's the 101 Pro Bodybuilding Tips. Guys, these are workouts from all the classic legends. Guys like Arnold, talk about somebody with amazing arms, right? Arnold, Frank Zane, Larry Scott, Sergio Olivo, Colombo. 101 Pro Bodybuilding Tips. Guys, I'm gonna link this uh, training program down in that first pinned comment. So after you're done with today's workout, guys, make sure to go check that out and pick up that 101 Pro Bodybuilding Tips. But this workout, guys, like I said, it's about a 10 minute follow along workout. We're gonna do four exercises, two supersets, biceps, triceps, followed by biceps, triceps. That's gonna hit both heads of the biceps and all three heads of the triceps. So this is a complete workout that you can do, like I said, at home, at the gym, you got 10 minutes in the middle of the day, jump in and do it. You know, the great thing about training your arms is they respond to frequency. So this is an amazing workout because it only takes 10 minutes that you can do three, four, five times a week. It's not taxing your central nervous system. Doesn't require a lot of recovery and, 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 and recovery growth. So this workout is specifically designed to blow those arms up, like I said. So we're gonna take you through each workout, walk you through one set, explaining some execution cues to make sure that you have that down. And then we're gonna complete two additional sets. All right, so we're gonna jump into the first superset of exercises, guys. We're gonna do an incline dumbbell curl, superset it with a chest supported, tricep kit back and I'll walk you through each one making sure you got the execution down and you're doing these exercises properly. So grab yourself a set of dumbbells that are going to be challenging. Like I said guys we're looking to work somewhere between the 8 to 12 rep range for these exercises. Now with an incline curl what's great about this exercise it allows your elbows to get slightly behind your back which is going to train your biceps in their most stretched or lengthened position. Okay, this is this is key element. You want to change, you want to train in a lengthened and also shortened position, which I'll show you in the next exercise. But here, guys, like I said, back flat against the, the pad here, and we're just simply curling at the elbow. Okay, slow count two on the way down. Slow up and really squeeze those biceps at the top, guys. You want to make sure that you're limiting your elbow movement. Really try to keep those elbows locked in a fixed position. Okay, that's three. Four, controlling your breathing. Out on the way up. In on the way down, okay, that's five. Here we go, six. Seven. When you're selecting your weight, guys, make sure to get a weight that's gonna challenge you for those last few reps. You don't wanna be doing 10 reps with a weight that you could do 30 for. You're not accomplishing anything there. Okay, that's 10. Now we're gonna flip around. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly lower this down a bit. I'm just looking for a little bit more of an angle down here. And this is our tricep chest supported kickback. Now you've probably seen a lot of people do this bent over at the waist, you can do it that way. I prefer to have the chest supported pad. Just allows you to have something to stabilize and support your upper body. Okay, so get the chest down in the pad. Feet are gonna be behind you. You wanna get your elbows back. Elbows should be your, behind your body. Now the key here is this is gonna incorporate a head of the tricep that you're not gonna get in any other movement. So keep your elbows locked in a fixed position. That upper arm does not move and it's a kickback extension from the elbow. One, two. You're really gonna feel this in the back of the tricep, okay? That's that long head. That makes up about two thirds of the tricep. And remember guys, the tricep makes up two thirds of your arms. Okay, so if you're looking for a big, thick set of arms, building your triceps is key. Six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure to breathe, keep that chest driving into the pad, lock it out at the top. Get out of here, 
All right guys, so that's the first superset, incline dumbbell curl, supersetted with a chest supported kickback. Now our second set is gonna start with a chest supported spider curl. We're gonna do a hammer grip, okay? So this is gonna be our biceps and this is also gonna get a little bit of our forearm and brachialis involved as well. So just like we did with the tricep kickback, we wanna get locked in a secure place, chest driving against the pad. Now unlike we did on the incline curl where our elbows were behind us, this is actually gonna allow our elbows to rest in front of us. And because we're gonna keep those in a locked position the entire time, this is training the bicep in the shortened or most contracted position. So I told you the first exercise is really where it's lengthened and stretched out. This is where it's shortened and contracted. So combining these two exercises, you're literally training the bicep through its entire range of motion. Now, because we've done the hammer grip, like I said, we're getting a little bit more of that upper forearm and thicker brachialis involved, all right? So chest supported against the pad, <sighs> curl up. Elbow does not move, guys. Keep that elbow locked in a fixed position. Three, four, five, six, seven. Once again, select a range, a weight that challenges you for eight, nine, 10, all right? Second bicep exercise, chest supported spider curl with a hammer grip, okay? And our fourth and final exercise is gonna be a dumbbell overhead tricep extension. Now this is working the biceps overhead. So we're getting a lengthened, really stretched position here. So you're gonna go up and wait a little bit because you're only gonna use one, one dumbbell as opposed to two, but get in a, you know, get in a locked position, core engaged and tight. Get that dumbbell up and over your head, okay? And as you go down, okay, allow the elbows to naturally fall and flare where they wanna go. Don't try to force them to stay locked in here. That's gonna put a lot of tension, stress on your shoulders. So keep them in their natural range. One, two, three, four, Make sure you keep that core locked and engaged, support and stabilizing you throughout the entire movement. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
All right, so that's it guys. How you feeling after that one? Quick 10 minute arm blasting dumbbell workout. Four exercises, three sets per each superset. Knock it out guys. Like I said, three, four times a week, get that frequency in. But that's it guys. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you wanna go a little bit deeper into this style of training, make sure to check out that first pinned comment down there below. It's a 101 pro bodybuilding tips. Like I said, there's nobody has got better arms than Arnold, right? So Arnold, Frank Zane, Larry Scott, all the classic legends, 101 pro bodybuilding tips. Check it out in the first pinned comment down there below. But that's it guys, Frank Rich from uh, the Critical Advantage Compound here. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every single day. And if this video helped you, which I know it did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, give us a like and comment down there below. Let us know what you thought about this video. But that's it guys, Frank Rich from Critical Bench Compound. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh,